Hi everyone, welcome to Mission Designs. My name is Leona Gomez. And before I get into this video, I would like to apologize to my subscribers for not posting anything last week Wednesday because I had to fully plunge in to mother duties as I had to assist my young daughter with preparing for a mock exam that took place last week. So, in this video, I would be focusing on refashioning a big winning piece that you guys voted for out of the two pieces that I put up for voting throughout all of my platforms, my social media platforms. So, the winning piece is... <laughs> a. Now, this is an outfit from my grandmother's closet that I got from my grandmother's closet and I thought, you know what, I think this would be really cool to use because I already have all the foundation pieces, I have a bottom to use to create pants and I have a top with an open um, hole area here that will work pretty well already. So let's get into refashioning this piece and I'm going to first start off by quickly fixing pants aspects. Alright, so I'll be starting with the pants piece as I indicated. Now, I already went ahead and removed the original elastic because it was really stretched out. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is fold this in half. And I am going to cut for length. Elastic. So I'll be taking my elastic and putting it around the area where I want the pants to pants waist to lay. That's right here. Making sure that it's a bit snug because I want it to really hold. So this is it here. So when it's time for me to fix the waist, I'm just going to filter the elastic through that original elastic piercing that the pants has, right? Go to the machine, secure the elastic, seal the hole, right? I show you guys many times how to do this. So I'm going to get that done. And I'm also going to hem my pants. And to hem my pants, because the inside is a lighter color, I want a, a contrasting fold as I always do when I create my shorts. And I'm going to be creating that contrasting hem fold for the shorts. So I'll be tucking my elastic and hem. All right, so I just finished working on the pants and I'm gonna get started with the top. Now, the style of the top is cropped and it's closed, it's not opened anywhere in the front or the back so I need to adjust this in a way that it will fit how it should so what I'm going to do is actually cut the top firstly to create that crop and then fold it I'm going to take 
with my ruler, I'm gonna just measure and go down about seven inches. front is but I'm gonna leave the back just like this and this is how my front is going to be now I need to fill in this space now when I had it on I measured seven inches wide as a good measuring piece to add to the front of this so the length of this flap is good enough let me just measure the width see if it's giving me the seven it's giving me more than seven so I'm gonna work with that because I want to be able to put the top on like a t-shirt 
without having to worry of getting in trouble to get into it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is take my piece, I'm going to let right side face right side here, and I am going to attach this part onto the extra piece that I have here. that sleeve and once I do that I would attach it on to the top that I have I do apologize for the noise you're probably hearing that's my neighbor cutting his grass <laughs> I also went ahead and created some cuffs for the bottom of the sleeve like we saw in the top and I used denim to make it a little wholesome so this would be going at the end like this right so this is gonna be kind of like that cuff coming to the end of the sleeve obviously this is gonna be on the inner so you're not gonna see it but you get the idea so I'm gonna go to my machine create the sleeves attach the sleeves attach the cuffs to the sleeves and I'll be finished. 